Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tatiana. For those of you that are new and welcome. So this is actually future me talking. I will look completely different in the video. My hair is curly right now and the video is straight. Um, it's because it's old footage. I have been contemplating for a while whether I've been wanting to post this video or not. It's like one of those things where it's like you push it off and push it off and then eventually it's like it's too far. I, I felt like it was too far and I didn't want to post it. But um, I'm just going to rip the band-aid off and post it because I feel like it's still footage that you guys will enjoy and that it's still relevant. So um, I'm going to go ahead and post it but I didn't want you guys to like be watching the video and be like what the heck this is? she said March. Like it is old footage but um, I figured it's still relevant and you guys will still enjoy it. Y'all it's a hot mess how long I've been off YouTube like literally a hot mess. So um, it will not happen again. Um, hoping, or actually I'm not even hoping, I'm going to speak it into existence because your words, your words are powerful. This is going to be my kickstart and to really be consistent and really post some more videos. And I, um, I really think I'm going to be more in the YouTube um, mood and feel because now that I'm fully vexed and um, outside is more open and like free to travel and things like that, I'm going to be able to actually post more content. I think that's one of the reasons why I wasn't because I feel like it was getting so repetitive because all I literally was doing was going to work and then doing stuff at home. So I'm hoping that now that um, I'm fully vaccinated, like more people are getting vaccinated and um, of course still will still be like safe when go outside, but now I can actually post more things that I want to post and do like more different content. So um, I would not be gone again that long and I'm so thankful for you guys that are still here. Like I, uh, you guys from the bottom of my heart, I really, really appreciate you guys still being here. And all of you that are new, I love you guys for being here too. So don't forget to like and subscribe um, if you like this video and also follow me on Instagram. A lot of you guys have been commenting um, on my Instagram and telling me how much you miss me and you want me to come back. So I'm so sorry that I've been gone for so long, but I'm back. And you guys will be seeing a bunch of like different videos from me um like i said this is going to be the kickstart for me really really getting serious about it and especially because things are starting to become more back to normal i can kind of get back to my normal self and get out of this like kind of funk um but yeah so i really hope you guys enjoy this video and i'm sorry that it's been so long since i posted but like i said um it will not happen again and don't forget to like and subscribe i love all of you guys and i would love if you become a part of the family so hope you guys enjoy this video Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tatiana for those of you that are new and welcome. So I decided to start this vlog. Um, if you remember, if you watched my last vlog, I said that I got my first shot and I was going to like take you guys with me or try to talk to you more with my second shot. So um, I was running a little late because I had to charge my car before I came here. So I didn't get a chance to like vlog before. But yeah, I just got my second dose of my COVID vaccine. So I'm officially vaccinated. Um, I'll show you guys like my papers and everything. But um Yes, yeah, so I just got my second shot and I'm nervous because everybody says the second shot is where they start really feeling symptoms and things like that. So um, my parents are so sweet. They're I, they're coming to actually like meet me and um, give me some like Tylenol and some food. And we're going to go get something to eat after because I just want to make sure that I'm OK. But um, so far, so good. I've only gotten it like so you have to wait. They have to monitor you 15 minutes after you take after you get the vaccine. So um, I can't leave. It's not it's 959 right now. So I have another 10 minutes. So basically, I got the shot like five minutes ago um and basically like it was a drive through so i went up and they gave me the shot like i could just open my door they gave me like my vaccination card and then they gave me um the vac the vaccine and then um they just like gave me like all these papers and told me to like drive up and then a nurse came and talked to me and told me her name and told me that um she was going to be monitoring my um symptoms and things like that so if i feel any symptoms just like flash my lights hug my horn and they'll come right away so um yeah so that's basically like what we're doing now um i'm just waiting my 15 minutes to make sure i don't have any symptoms but um according to like a lot of people who have already gotten a second vaccine um their symptoms kind of start like a little after that like they might get a fever or like some mild symptoms so i guess i'm just going to keep monitoring and see how i feel but um yes yeah, so we're officially vaccinated let me try to show y'all without getting in trouble so here's my um my papers that they gave me i got vaccinated thank you for completing the covid vaccine um the covid 19 vaccination and then i got the shot um yeah so those are like my papers and they're monitoring now um there's actually like a lot of cars out here hold on let me see if i can show you guys all right y'all so like basically the people in the yellow vest are the ones that are monitoring the people in the cars and the people in the cars are the ones that have gotten the shots so so yeah so um that's what it looks like the all the people in the cars are the people that have gotten their shots and we're basically just sitting here waiting um to make sure that we're not having any symptoms for 15 minutes and then if we if we are like i said we'll just like hunk our horns or flash our lights 
and they'll come over and just make sure that everything's okay and monitor our symptoms so that's basically what i'm doing now i'm just waiting um but yeah so i just wanted to check in with you guys i'll keep you guys updated with how i feel but um so far so good and i am well i think my mom told me how it works i have to like look it up some more i got the pfizer vaccine so you get your first dose and then you get your second dose um you get your second dose 15 or no 17 to 21 days after so it's like a really tight window and it's hard to schedule it with work because they recommend not working after and um yeah so it, it's kind of hard to schedule it with like with work but um that's basically what i'm doing now is like i'm just i'm just waiting um All right, y'all, sorry, I had to stop filming because um, a woman walked up to my car and I thought that uh, <laughs> I had gotten in trouble for filming like a little bit. But um, she was just telling me thank you for getting the vaccine, asking me if it was my second shot, and it was. And um, she handed me like a little mask and I'll show you guys like what the mask looks like. But um, so from what my mom was explaining to me and um, I'll like definitely look it up some more. But I got the Pfizer vaccine. So like I said, um, you get your first dose and you get your second dose 17 to 21 days after. Um, and I, this is my exactly I am got my second one exactly on my 17th day. Um, and this is like what worked the best for my schedule because um, I'm working Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I'm on call Friday next week. So I literally have no time to get it next week and still have some time off to like make sure I don't have any symptoms. So, um, yeah. So um, basically what my mom said is that I think from 14 days from now, I will be 95% protected from getting COVID-19. And I think that's not to say that I can't spread it, but um, I'm so far, I guess I will be protected from getting it. So I'm still waiting, you guys, but um, so far, so good. Like I said, it's 10.06. I have three more minutes to finish my 15 more minutes. And so far, I don't really feel um, any symptoms. But like I said, it's only been 15 minutes, so it's hard to be 100% um, sure. But um, yeah, so far, so good. And it's good to know, like I said, that I'll be 95% protected from um getting COVID especially working in the hospital and especially just wanting to like live everyday life I guess it's just nice knowing that and then that um like I said I'm protected and my family um whenever it's open for them to get it they're also going to get it but so far so good and um yeah I just wanted to keep you guys updated with that because I know it's like a big thing right now um and not it's not really open to too many people so it's not there are not really too many people talking about it but um so far, my experience has been pretty good. So I just wanted to give you guys an update with that. Um, but yeah, so I have two more minutes. I'm going to meet with my parents. So I try to vlog some more um, to show you guys like what I do. But yeah, check in with you guys later. All right, y'all, I'm leaving. I made it past my 15 minutes, feeling just fine. So um, like I said, so far, so good. But 15 minutes in and I'm feeling good. So I'm leaving. Um, but like I said, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, you guys, so um, me and my parents decided to come to this Ethiopian restaurant called Desta. If you live in, like, Georgia, the Atlanta area, it is so good. Um, highly, highly, highly recommend. So that's what we're going to eat. Um, so, yeah, you can kind of see my mom in the background there. But, yeah, we're about to grab some food real quick, some Ethiopian food. So, um, and I love Ethiopian food. If you have any good suggestions for other e Ethiopian restaurants, let me know. But, yeah, so we're about to go eat. <laughs> with you guys it's been a while since i picked up the camera um it's been a really long time like over a month i was um getting so the last time that i picked up the camera and filmed for you guys i was getting my second covid vaccine shot so i just want to give you guys an update y'all it's been so long like today is march 9th and um i got my second covid shot covid vaccine shot on january 28th i believe so it's been a while um it's been way over the 14 days that um it basically takes for the full like vaccination um to set in so i think it takes two weeks um for you to be 95 percent protected so i'm like way past that um so i know i filmed like on the day and i showed you guys a little about that but um basically i just kind of felt like i was fighting something off a lot of my coworkers felt 
said that they felt really really bad when they got the second shot but for me it wasn't that bad but i think it also helped that my mom had done some research and she had looked it up and saw that the second shot is a lot worse so she gave me some um like medicine some like cold medicine and um some like natural things that kind of fight off cold symptoms to take before and then to continue taking after so i feel like that helped me so much i think i also took um like advil or leave and um that helped me so much with getting the vaccine so if anything i just felt like really tired and fatigued and maybe like a little sore throat but um that lasted like a day or two and then ever since then i've been perfectly fine um i actually have so so much more of a peace of mind now knowing that i'm um per, like vaccinated and protected i feel like mo much more comfortable going outside and maybe um trying to start to have a normal life again of course still like wearing a mask and things like that but um and my dad actually got his first shot and i think my mom's going to be getting hers next week so i'm really really happy that my family's going to be vaccinated so that kind of gives me more of a peace of mind knowing like my family's going to be safe if they just need even need to do simple things like going grocery shopping or just like if they want to take a walk get out of the house the fact that they'll be vaccinated makes me feel so much better um but yeah so i'm perfectly fine i'm never gonna tell you guys to do something or not do something um of course i want it to be like your own decision i'm just giving you my personal opinion about um how i felt getting the shot and then like how i feel now and i'm actually really really happy that i made the, the, the i'm really really happy that i made the decision to get vaccinated um like i said the second shot i felt like i was kind of fighting something off but it wasn't too bad and now i'm 95 percent protected and um it makes me feel good that maybe one day we'll actually get back to normal life so um yeah so i just want to get one to give you guys my experience with that and you saw like the clips and everything of me going and getting it and um hopefully like i said we'll have um herd immunity at some point and get back to normal life but yeah so um i really like i feel like i always say this y'all but i definitely like i i've been getting being so hard on myself lately because i really do want to film and create so much more content for you guys but i feel like um i want to branch out from nursing and i get so nervous about even posting like nursing videos I, but i get so nervous about posting like any video so just trying something new i feel like it's really really hard for me and um i really want to like branch out and try new things um on my channel and like really find like my niche but um I'm like I'm so happy to have you guys here still here supporting me and watching my videos I love all of you guys and um, I really like to need to get over that fear because I really need to be more consistent because I feel like I can really do well with my YouTube channel and really like put out good content for you guys if I just stay consistent so that's something one of my um, new year resolutions and things I'm gonna be working on this year is just consistency and dedication because I feel like I need that in every aspect of my life like not only YouTube but like every aspect because um, if I don't have a plan or a schedule or if I don't have like if I'm not really dedicated to do something I can get really really lazy so um yeah and I feel like I have so many plans in life so many things I want to do like I want to start a business one day of course invest have like a, a big savings account a house like things like that so I really need to get on I really need to grind I really need to stay dedicated because I'm not where I want to be yet even though I love where I'm at now and I'm enjoying where I'm at now I have so many like more plans so I definitely need to be more dedicated to YouTube and just a lot of things in my life so um I'm trying to stay more dedicated with my bullet journaling too i really need to write things down and really stay on myself and do my bullet journaling um i have an old video if you don't know what bullet journaling is um if you want to check that out and see like kind of some old stuff i used to do with my bullet journaling but um yeah so i really want to do that and like keep track of a lot of the things that i'm doing and really like write things down and dates and stuff like that so um and yeah and i really want to read more books like my internet is out right now um i don't know it's just like randomly went out so I don't really watch cable TV. Most of the things I watch are like Hulu and Netflix and like HBO, things like that, things I need internet. So I can still watch it on my phone, but I think that's what this would be a good time for me to read some books because that's another thing I want to do this year is read a lot more and learn a lot more. So um, I put on my iPad because um, I have like a lot of like digital books. I have like one hard copy book. I really want to read this. I feel like this is, um, I've heard like really good things about this book and I feel like this is like a really good mentality to have because if you spend your life trying to please other people, you're always going to be miserable and you're never going to make everybody happy. So, um, and I think that's one of the things I struggle with, especially like with me starting YouTube. Um, it's really easy to get caught up in other people's opinions of you. So I really want to, um, and of course like you guys matter to me and, um, I, I really want to put out content that you guys love as well as that I love but you can't live your life trying to please everybody because there's no way you'll ever please everybody you'll make yourself miserable doing that so um that's one of the books I want to read I feel like that's going to be a really good book I've heard a lot of good things um I also want to read Think and Grow Rich yeah I've been trying to read Think and Grow Rich for years literally years so hopefully this year will be the year that I actually finish it um and then The Power of Your Subconscious Mind I heard is a really good book so I'm going to try to read that as well but if you guys have any good um, book suggestions, let me know. Like I said, I'm going to try to read a lot more this year. 
um i just have a lot of plans this year like i really just the, it really just boils down to being me being dedicated because like i'll start a book and then i won't finish it so it really just boils down to me like me being dedicated and me when i put my mind to something actually doing it and sticking to it because when i do that i can accomplish like so much y'all and i know you guys can too so um yeah that's like one of the things i'm going to be working on this year is like my dedication reading more um being more consistent making like more sacrifices and things like that and really um focusing on youtube work and just building building my life and building myself up personally and mentally emotionally everything so yeah um but i really just wanted to get back on here and um really give you guys an update after my second shot um i'm definitely gonna try to like pick up my camera and film more even like just around the house like tonight's probably gonna be a pimper night for me um this is my last day i've been out for a week and i worked four in a row and um lately we've been having like a, a lot of babies like we've been really really busy and we've been really um like critical lately we've had a lot of sick babies so um that four in a row like really kind of wore me out so a lot of this week i've kind of just been um relaxing sleeping um maybe going out to eat every once in a while um but for the most part yeah like i said i've just been sleeping i'll go back to work tomorrow i'm working three in a row and then uh, well possibly four because i'm on call saturday hopefully i won't have to work it but if i do it's whatever but um yeah so tonight is my last night off before i go back to work so i think i'm gonna make it a pamper night like i said do a face mask and a bath y'all i love my lush baths like literally once you try lush bath you will never go back there's nothing like a lush bath y'all like they're bath bombs i don't know it's just they're so pretty they smell good they make the water literally feel like lotion um but honestly i think i kind of like the bubble bars more than the bath bombs because i love just having bubbles in there and then it also changes the color of the water and still gives you that like moisturized water feeling but um yeah so i think i'm gonna do a lush bath and do like a face mask and kind of just relax because it's and it's so pretty like i'm sitting here with my um balcony doors open because the weather is perfect it's like 70 degrees outside so i think i'm just gonna kind of like have a night in and just relax and really just enjoy my own company and do a face mask do a bath and things like that and just get ready like in my mind ready to go back into work mode and youtube mode like i said trying to be dedicated to my youtube so just focus like center myself to get back into work and grind and hustle mode so yeah um that's basically my little update that i wanted to give you guys so I'll check back in with you guys later. I'm probably gonna film a little bit, like I said, of like my little night pimp routine. But yeah, so I'll check back in with you guys later. Dusk, and I will just line where I put the bronzer. Alright, so I wanted to show y'all, it's just, oh my gosh, I wish that you guys could literally feel the weather through the camera, but it's just so pretty outside right now, it's it's not too hot, not too cold, it's literally perfect, um, so I'm gonna sit out here, I have my iPad with my book, I'm gonna read Think and Grow Rich first, then also catch up on some YouTube, um, cause I haven't really, really been watching YouTube much lately, but, yeah, so I'm just gonna sit out here on my little balcony with my iPad, well, for my books and my phone, um, maybe bring a little drink out here, and just relax and read.
Hey y'all, so I wanted to come on here and give you guys a quick update. So, um, it is currently Thursday. So I worked last night and I'm doing my second shift now, possibly at four. Um, I'm on call Saturday. Hopefully I won't have to work, but if I do, whatever. Um, but yeah, I just woke up. Let me show y'all what it looks outside. It's so pretty. I love when you can kind of see like the sun setting. But, um... But yeah, so um, I'm getting ready for work now. I'm already dressed. I have on like my Janu scrubs. And um, oh, I ordered some food. Y'all, if I don't cook, I get so lazy. So I ordered, hold on, let me show y'all. I ordered some um, like pokey or uh, I don't know if, that, if that's like the right way to say it. Pokey, pocky. But um, I ordered some of that. So I'm gonna take that to work with me because if I don't cook or if I don't already have food, I'm really lazy, I'm not gonna do it um because i'm tired when i'm working so i just ordered some food um let me show y'all so um just a poke bowl with spicy tuna um scallops and shrimp and then i have seaweed salad crab masago and spicy tuna so i'm gonna take that with me and i'm gonna go ahead and make my um focus and i'm gonna go ahead and make my coffee it's 6 18 so I had to leave, thank you. I had to leave for um, work pretty soon, not like too soon, but um, I try to leave by, or I try to be in my car like heading to the hospital by like 6.30. Um, sometimes, like yesterday, I didn't get to my car until like 6.35 and um, I was pushing it, but luckily I was still on time. I feel like that's kind of bad though because the more I push it and the more I'm still on time, the more I'm going to not get up and wait longer. But um, I'm actually kind of up. Right now, I still feel like a little tired, but I feel okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my coffee. And um, yeah, I wanna get, just give you guys a quick update. I'm gonna go ahead and head to work. make my coffee i'll link these cups i got these from amazon and they're um they're really useful because they're um actually pretty sturdy and i take always take like either water or iced coffee in these and they're reusable so i love them but um yeah y'all saw it. i put i mean i use like 12 ounces of coffee i make it in my keurig and then i mostly use um oat milk and then a little bit of creamer and it tastes amazing i don't like strong coffee at all so that's why my coffee is like it's so light but i love it so, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my things and head off to work. Got my lunch, my pokey, and then uh, we're off. So, check back in with you guys later. Hey, y'all. So, I just want to come in here and give you guys a quick update. So, um, the last time I talked to you guys, I think I was either, I think I was heading into work and I was running late. Um, y'all, I worked, ended up working four nights because I was on call Saturday and I got called in. Um, we were really, really short and really critical. So, um, even like the, there were three people on call and even with all the three of us working we were still short and they were offering like day shift was so short they were offering like double critical pay so like double time and a half but um yeah so um my work stretch was crazy y'all because my assignment was it was 
I'm not gonna say bad, but it was really, really busy. I had um, one really sick baby and then one baby who isn't really like critical, but isn't doing well either. Like um, he's stable. The healthier baby was stable, but he still swings a lot. Like he's still intubated. He's still in a pressure vent um, on a lot of oxygen support. And he would like his oxygen requirements are still like in the 70s or 80s. And he's like, y'all, when I like say swings, he swings down into like the 30s and 20s, uh, just fast asleep, like not moving, like not doing anything. So I had him and then I had another girl who um, went to this children's hospital for surgery because they suspected that um, she had neck and that she perked. But um, so they did like an exploratory surgery on her abdomen and they found out that um, they didn't find anything. They said her gut was healthy. So they stitched her back up and sent her back to us. Y'all, she came back on an oscillator morphine drip like with a scar her belly she has a sides now her belly's huge she just it was a hot mess like it was a lot she she's doing better now um even though she's still in the oscillator but she came back on like a hundred percent um when i left she was down to like in the 50s or 60s um and then it's just like she kept losing her lines her electrolytes were just like all out of order she her, her platelets were so critically low like um the when i left she got platelets like every day i'm not sure where the platelets were going i'm not sure what was happening but um she got platelets every day and her platelets were still critically low so like the um the night before my last night she had gotten like ffp cryo um prbcs and um ffp cryo PRBCs. I want to say that's I think she got three transfusions in one day and her platelets and her platelets are critically low but she didn't get platelets because um supposedly there's a new study like usually an old study says that you transfuse um babies less than 50 if their platelets are less than 50 but her platelets were like 34 or something like that so they transfused y'all the night that I left um it was like I got the results back right before a shift change so um I like started the process but I didn't actually get the platelets y'all her platelets were 16. 16 almost non-existent so um yeah she ended up getting platelets before i left or after i left but she was just it was just she was just a really busy assignment like she wasn't critically critically unstable like unstable we're to the point where we have to like keep bagging her and code her or anything like that but she was still unstable because like everything was just like just out of order like not working how it should be working like she kept losing lines and y'all when i said this baby is the hardest stick ever her veins literally look like squiggly lines if you can even find the veins and if the veins aren't blown so she had a pick y'all this is like literally unheard of her pick slipped out into the bed because i think they were the pig nurse was explaining that maybe it's because of how dementia she is y'all this baby is so puffy she looks like a blueberry or like, um, yeah, like the blue, like the girl who turned into a blueberry on Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. That's what she looks like. Like she is so dementous. Her belly's big. Like her neck, her face, her hands. Her, I, y'all, I just. She's on a more like she. We had her on a morphine drip, and then we had also like PRA and morphine, and we also had her on Vec Vecronium, which is like a paralytic, just to keep her calm because y'all she just she looked uncomfortable she you know she had surgery so she had the surgical star the, the surgical scar like she had almost something in every every um limb so she only had like so when you give meds and things you can't like if you give like blood products or platelets thing, anything like any blood products you can't give anything else to that line so you have to have either a double lumen pick a double lumen uvc or a double i mean or like separate ivs and y'all like i told you she didn't have any veins so she had one iv y'all we were holding on to these ivs so hard because she is such a hard stick and then she has a single lumen pick which means we can only run like she has she's on hyperal and uh, hyperal and lipids because she's not eating so she has to have something to keep her sugars and electrolytes up so she's on that in the morphine drip through the pick because it's single lumen we can't run anything through that she's on like 10 meds we can't run any meds through that so we have to have an iv she has a pal um which is an arterial line so we can get lab and keep track of her blood pressure without actually having to put a cup on her so she just has like she just has a lot going on she had a lot going on y'all so imagine that with a swinging baby that drops into the 20s or 30s every day and then the fact that she kept losing lines and then like her sugar her um sodium her sugar started to drop when i left too so i had to like chase her sugars her sodium was high it was in like the 150s so we had to keep changing fluids like then give like morphine and vec because she was in there like if, if she wasn't sedated she was in there like upset and just like giving like tons and tons of meds on top of giving blood products and like only having limited like ac um, IV access. So it was just, it was a lot y'all. 
it was a lot and I worked four in a row so I was off yesterday Sunday and today Monday well it's actually Tuesday now it's actually really late it's 1 30 in the morning I'm staying up because I'm about to go to sleep um soon so I can like sleep in because I go back to work so yeah I had that four, that hard four night stretch I only had two nights off two nights is not enough you don't recover in two nights um and then I'm working three in a row I'm working Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and then I finally have the weekend off so I'm just looking forward to it but I can say I'm actually like even though it was a very tough assignment I'm grateful for it because I feel like I've learned so much I um, actually had to stick the baby that swings a lot like y'all he dropped into the 20s while I was starting a new IV on him but I got it first stick I was so happy um but so I got a lot of experience I changed lots of fluids I had like morphine drips like I said I was giving a paralytic I was um chasing sugar like giving blood products like tons and lot tons of tons of labs so um I'm grateful for that experience because I'm getting more um more and more experience because I'm getting more and more experience and getting more comfortable with doing things on my own or um and like the nurses around me were awesome they were very helpful so um even though we were short they would come and help me just because they saw like yeah i was running around like a chick with my head cut off i was especially the first night like after that she kind of like stabilized so um even though she like i said she wasn't stable she was better than the first night so it got better but it was just y'all it was a lot it was a lot and i've only had these two nights off and i feel like i haven't even had time off and i'm going back but um yeah so i haven't really vlogged because i haven't really been doing anything here i should have um showed you i went to this place called fat tuesdays today it just opened in atlanta and i was so excited because if you um have been in new orleans or like live in new orleans and you know like there's a fat tuesdays there and it's awesome um i love new orleans my grandparents my great grandparents live there and a lot of my other family and i love new orleans because i'm a seafood junkie i love everything about it. i love the beignets the seafood i love the culture the people um, I would never live there, but I love visiting. Um, I love the fact that they have like drive drive through daiquiri places. Like I just love New Orleans. Um, but they or they opened a Fat Tuesdays here, and y'all, I've been I'm so excited about it. I've been like two times already, and um, I'll enter like a little picture of it. It's just like frozen daiquiris. It's so good. But um, yeah, so I went there today, and then now I'm just like here. I've been um, just relaxing. I went to like Target and grabbed a few things. So um, I think it's already 1:30 in the morning. I think I'm gonna try to go to sleep by like two two or three. Um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead. I think I'm gonna go ahead and like just do my skincare. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a bath because um, I've been trying to like I've I've been taking a lot of baths lately. I feel like it helps relax me, especially since the weather like it's been colder. Um, it's starting to warm up now, but in the summertime I'm not taking baths because I'll sweat in the bathtub. Like I cannot take it unless my my um, air my AC is on like 65 or 60. I can't take a bath because I hate being hot but um i've been taking a lot of baths lately i feel like they've really been relaxing me so um i think i'm going to go ahead and take a bath and um because i can't sleep right now i didn't switch back to like a day schedule because it's not enough two days is not enough time to switch back and forth so i've kind of been sleeping a lot during the day and then been up during the night um so i'm gonna do my skincare take a bath and yeah so then i'm gonna like end this vlog here um i'll show you guys like my skincare and like pamp routine that i'm about to do but i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here so i can go ahead and um start another one or start like a new video for you guys but i feel like this vlog has been kind of everywhere with me like my second covid shot and like that experience and like vlogging a little of like working and telling you guys about like my experience with this last um stretch because uh yeah it was tough but i learned a lot but um i really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and like i said i'm sorry that i just kind of jumped around and that the time periods are so far in between it's just I'm trying to get more consistent i'm trying to like figure out a way where i can like keep my energy up to do like videos and do youtube and also like i'm trying to find like my niche too and i'm um, trying to like figure out what kind of videos i want to do but i'm trying to like figure it all out and find a schedule a consistent or consistent schedule that works for, like me and you guys so um i'm really working on it y'all because i really really want to be consistent with youtube i love making videos it's just um finding the time to do it especially with, like a stretch i just had i've been sleeping and resting because i've been exhausted but um yeah so i'm gonna finish this video up here I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and leave me down suggestions and comments and let me know how you guys are doing i love every single one of you guys thank you so much for subscribing and being here and if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and join this family and yeah so like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one